hello friends you are welcome to my channel thank you for checking out my channel god bless you greatly in jesus name we'll be giving the world this period this is time for us to hear the word of god and i i, I pray we we'll have a nice time today with god we we'll have a nice time with god this period and I beg you to stay till the end and hear the word of God. The word of God is powerful and we need it in this end time. We really need the word of God. So I beg you to stay tuned. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord everlasting God, we worship your name, we exalt your name. We thank you for counting us amongst the living. We thank you for your love upon our life. We thank you for being there for us from the beginning of this year to this time. Many have died. Many are still on the sick bed. But you, 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 you preserved our life. You washed over our lives from January to this time. Lord, we are grateful. This moment, we have dedicated it to hear from you. Oh Lord, speak to us in the language we understand. The all that is coming out today, let it bring healing, let it bring deliverance, and let it bring salvation to as many that were listening to it in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. One more time, you are welcome. Today, the topic today is, I will make you. The topic today is, I will make you. I will make you. Jesus will make someone today. God will make someone today. The topic is, I will make you. And uh, our Bible text is taken from Matthew 4 verse 19. Matthew 4 19 says, the version says, And he... Saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. The, the account of Matthew is that it says, And he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus was telling Simon Peter and Andrew, his brother, that they should follow him, he will make them fishers of men. You can read in the account of Mark. The one we have read now is, is the account of Matthew. So Mark, read Mark, Mark one, Mark one sixteen to eighteen. Let's get the full information. Mark one sixteen to eighteen. Now as he walked by the by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew. Jesus was walking by the sea of Galilee. He saw Simon Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea. For there were fishers. They were casting their net into the into the sea. Because and Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me. And I will make you to become fishers of men. When Jesus was walking alongside the Sea of Galilee, the Sea of Galilee, he met Simon Peter and Andrew, his brother, and he told them that they should follow him. He will make them fishers of of men. They have been fishing for years. And Jesus is calling them to follow him, that he will make them fishers of, 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 of men. Jesus has the ability, have the capacity to make a man. The key word is there is, follow me and I will make you. When you follow Jesus, he has the capacity to make you. Have you been struggling in life? Have you been looking for, for green and partial? Have you been, have you been looking unto look God for help? Follow him. Follow him. The instruction is for you to follow him. 
he told Peter, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. In uh, Genesis 12 verse 2, God told uh, Abraham similar thing. He said he should leave his father's house, he should leave his kindred and go to the land that he's showing him. And he obeyed God. Verse 2, Genesis 12 verse 2, And I will make thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. All this blessing will come via the, the, his obedience. He obeyed God, and God told him that he will make him a great nation. When you obey God, when you follow God, when you obey his instruction, he will make you. God told him, I will make of thee a great nation. I will make of thee great nation. Because Abraham obeyed God. He left his house. He left his country. And God was taking him to the land that he did not know. He did not question God's authority. He obeyed God. There is blessing in obedience. When you obey God, He will make you. When you follow God, He will make you. Peter followed Jesus, and Jesus make him fishers of men. Jesus told Simon Peter and, the, and Andrew, his brother, that they should follow Him, and He will make them fishers of men. Jesus has the capacity to make a man. Have you been struggling in this? Follow Jesus. Try and follow Jesus. He will make you. He has the capacity to make you. He can make you great. He can make you great. Whatsoever you are looking on to, you are, look, you are looking for, for years, the solution is to obey Jesus and follow him. When you follow him, he will make you. So the topic today is, I will make you. God is telling somebody, follow me, I will make you. God will make someone today in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make someone great today and so follow him in the mighty name of Jesus. God has the capacity, yeah, to make a man. Jesus can move and make us. All we need to do is to follow him. He can mold us, He can make us, all we need is for us to obey and follow Him. Obedience is very, very important in our journey of life. Obedience. Hmm? Even holiness. Holiness, the definition, our Father in the Lord told us that the definition of holiness is total obedience. Yes, Lord. Don't do this. Yes, Lord. Do this. Yes, Lord. Obeying the commandments of God. Following His instruction and His directive. Obedience. What Jesus required from us is our obedience and willingness. When Jesus told Peter, follow me and I will make you fishers of men, he did not argue. He obeyed. He was willing. He was not forced. He was forced to, to follow Jesus. Jesus told him and he obeyed him and followed him. And followed him. In our time now, people are full of complaining. When God said do this, when God said do that, they will begin to complain. I, I, I cannot do this. I cannot do that. Our obedience is very, very important. It takes faith to follow Jesus Christ. It takes faith. It takes faith to follow Jesus. Peter did not, he did not think, ah, I'm a fisherman for years. You are telling me to leave my fishing to follow you. He did not think, okay, if I follow this man, how will I survive? No. Peter ha ha have faith. He has faith. 
he believed that when he followed Jesus, all will be well. He did not question Jesus Christ and ask him, Ha, ah, what are you going to give me? How am I going to survive? No. He believed in Jesus Christ. Yeah. You must have faith. You must believe in Jesus. To follow Jesus, you have to believe in him. That is able to provide your needs. That is able to meet your needs. That is able to grant you your heart desire. Peter has faith. He has faith in God. And he did not question his authority. He did not question him. He did not say, okay, if I follow you, what are you going to give me? No, he obeyed. He obeyed him willingly. He followed Jesus. And Jesus met him. He began to fish men instead of fish, fishing fish. And you know the blessing that follows soul winning. When you begin to win souls for God, He has commanded that He will bless you. He said, Whatsoever you ask, it shall be granted unto you. John 15 16. When you begin to win souls for God, when you begin to do the heartbeat of God, bringing people to His kingdom, He will begin to meet your needs. Whatsoever you ask Him, He will begin to grant unto you. Are you willing to follow Jesus? Are you willing to are you willing to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? He said he will make you. He has the capacity to make you. Enough of struggling. Enough of running helter skelter. There is no help anywhere. Help is is only in God and God alone. It's only Jesus that can help us. There is no help in the world. The only help we have is in Jesus Christ. So what you need to do is to follow him. When you follow him, he will make you. It's in the business of making men in this end time. As many that are willing to win souls for him. As many that are willing to please him, to obey his commandments. He's making life. When you are willing to follow him, he, he will make your life. He will decorate your life. He will beautify your life. And I want you to decide today to follow Jesus Christ. Because it pays to follow Jesus Christ. He said he will make you. Peter believed in Jesus Christ. He did not question his commandment. Peter obeyed Jesus and he was willing to follow him. He obeyed Jesus and he was willing to follow him. What are the benefits of following Jesus Christ? What are the benefits of following Jesus? He will lead you in all, he will lead you in the path of righteousness. He will lead you in the path of righteousness. When you follow Jesus, you cannot go astray. When you follow his commandments, his instruction, you cannot, you will not go astray. He will lead you in the path of righteousness. That is one of the benefits. Number two, he will lead you into all truths. He will lead you into all truths. Number three, he will lead you through every storm. When you follow Jesus Christ, he will lead you through. You will not pass that, that storm alone. When Jesus was in the boat and there was storm with the disciples and there was the storm began to rain, Jesus was sleeping in the inner part of the boat. And the disciple came to him, Ah, Jesus, you care not that we perish? He said, Thou, you thou of little faith. And he rebuked the wind and the storm ceased. He had the capacity to seize every storm. If there's any storm raging in your life now, raging in your family, God have that capacity to stop and to stop every raging storm. 
God has the capacity to stop every storm in your life. All you need to do is to obey and follow Him. Have faith in Him. Believe that He can give you that job. Believe that He can do that miracle you are, you are, you are asking Him. Peter believed in Jesus. He did not question Him. He did not think, okay, if I leave fiction, what am I, how am I going to survive? They're telling me to leave my job. How am I going to survive? Peter did not question Jesus Christ. He believed in him and he followed him. Believe in Jesus Christ today and he will make you. The number four benefit is he will lead you to heaven. Heaven and hell is real. And God has given us power to make choice. He said, life and death, I place before you, choose. God has given us the power, the willing power for us to choose. Hell or heaven, where do you want to spare your eternity? When you follow Jesus Christ, one of the benefits is he will lead you to heaven. You will not go to hell, you will not perish in hell. I pray we will all make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Number five. He will bless you and make you great. When you follow Jesus Christ, He will bless you and make you great. Is that not exciting? When you follow Him, He will bless you and He will make you great. Number six, God has good things in store for everyone that follows, that follows Him. When you follow God, He has good things in store for you to as many that, is, that follow Jesus Christ he have good things in store for them so it pays to follow Jesus follow Jesus today and he will make you in Jeremiah 1 verse 5 God said I, he, he knew Jeremiah even before he was born in his mother's womb Every one of us, God knew us even before we were formed in our mother's womb. And he told Jeremiah that I have ordained you as a prophet. When Jeremiah was saying, but I'm just a child. He said that from the womb, I have ordained you as a prophet. Follow Jesus. Follow him. The plan and purpose for God for our life is of good, is not of evil. When you obey His instruction, you obey His commandment, His plan and purpose for your life will be revealed. And we have, we have seen in Genesis 12, from verse 1 to 5, read here, how God told uh, Abraham to leave his family, leave his country. And go to the land that is going to show him he did not argue and god said he will make him a great nation when you follow god god will make you great it pays to follow jesus it pays to follow his instruction and his directive if you are here you are listening to me Another opportunity has come your way today again. And you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ. This is another opportunity. Give your life to Jesus Christ. That is the first step in following Jesus Christ. You want to follow Jesus Christ? The first step is to accept Him. You cannot follow anyone you do not accept. When Jesus Christ was passing by the side, the seaside of Galilee, and he met uh, Peter and he began to have a conversation with him. Peter accepted him into his life. That is the number one, the first step. You have to accept Jesus into your life. For you to follow him and he will make you great, the first thing is for you to accept him. Accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. When you accept him, then you begin to follow him. The next step will begin will be following him, following his commandments, obeying him, pleasing him, obeying his ordinances, his commandments, his authority. Don't question his authority. Don't question 
the, the, the leading of God. So the first step is for you to give your life to Jesus Christ. So if you are here, you want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ, I would like you to bow your hair down wherever you are and begin to ask God, tell him, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sin. I know I have strayed away. I'm coming back home. Forgive me my sin. Wash me. Wash my sins away. Receive me as your daughter. Receive me as your son. Begin to pray. Call on God. He's faithful and just. He will pardon your sins. He will forgive all your sins. Ask for mercy. Tell him to have mercy on you. Begin to pray. Ask for the mercy of God. That you are, you are coming back home. You are forsaking all your evil ways. That you are, ready, you are ready to follow him. You are ready to obey him. Begin to confess your sin. So I pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for as many that have made up their mind. That they want to, to give their life to you. They want to accept you into their life as their Lord and personal Savior. I pray, Lord, that you look down and forgive their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Pardon their sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Accept them into your kingdom. Accept them, O oh Lord, as your daughters, as your sons, in the mighty name of Jesus. Help their determinations in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hold of the enemy over their life, I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Let the fire of God, let the blood of Jesus destroy every hold of the enemy over their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover their life with the blood of Jesus. No more will the Antichrist use their mind in the name of Jesus. But, but deliver them from every 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 hold of the enemy. Deliver them from every every attack. Deliver them from every power that is oppressing them. Every power that is not allowing them to serve you. Deliver them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Let their salvation be genuine. Help their determinations in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. If you have prayed this prayer, you have given your life to Jesus Christ, congratulations. Congratulations. The Lord Almighty will help you be determined to follow Jesus. This Christian race is, is personal and is, is determination. When you made up your mind that you are serving Jesus, when you made up your mind that you are following Jesus, nothing will be able to, 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 to change your decision. Be determined and beware of the company you keep so that you will not be influenced negatively. Always read your Bible and pray always. It is the only way that you can be empowered. And if in the area you are, if there is church going on in the area you are, you can look for a Bible-believing church and begin to attend attend activities uh, listening to walls of God and grow spiritually by you reading your Bible hearing the word of God faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God so you will be able to grow spiritually the Lord Almighty will help you in the name of Jesus then you begin to follow Jesus you begin to obey his commandment and he will make you Whatsoever you desire, he will grant unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. He will bless you greatly in the mighty name of Jesus. So Jesus is in the business of making men. I want you to join, I want you to join the train so that he will make your life, he will decorate your life and he will make your life beautiful. Satan has no gift for you. Just like I said last week. When Satan gives you one, you can take 10, 20, 100 back from you. You have no free gifts. Don't fall into the camp of the enemy. Don't, don't, don't allow the enemy to lay hold of your mind. Because the mind is the battleground where the enemy battles to allow people to wage war against the, the spirit man. So guide what comes into your mind. In the med your meditations, 
whatsoever you are doing, let God be number one. Let the Spirit of God, with time, wherever you are worshipping God, in any church you are watching, go meet your pastor, any pastor available near you, with time, you'll be baptized in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues. By then, the Spirit of God will begin to lead you in all righteousness. I pray the Lord Almighty will uphold you to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. So thank you so much for staying to the end. God bless you. So we meet again by the grace of God. Next week, Saturday, for the word of God. The Lord Almighty will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. Bye.